Assalamualaikum and hi guys. This is the M015 chapter 3 and we continue for page 15. Now, let's go to the example of ratio inequalities. Find the set of values for the following inequalities. As I mentioned before, I will use table of sign method. Firstly, make sure you already have a single fraction on the left side and zero on the right side. Next step, find the roots of each of the linear expression. Interval here represent the area of left and right side of the roots. Remember, x plus 4 is at denominator, so denominator cannot be equal to 0. That's why we will draw an empty dot. Test value is any value within the interval. Pick 1. Then substitute the value into linear factors to determine the sign. Negative 5 minus 2, negative 7. Negative 5 plus 4, negative 1. 0 minus 2, negative 2. 0 plus 4, positive 4. 3 minus 2, positive 1. 3 plus 4, positive 7. Finally, we will calculate the division of two linear factor. Negative divided by negative will get positive number. Negative divided by positive will get negative number. Positive divided by positive will get positive numbers. Because of the question asked for less than or equals to zero, so we are looking for the negative interval. So your final answer is half open negative 4 until 2. Let's try for B. One of the important things that you must remember in ratio inequalities is do not cross multiply. So what we have to do now is bring 2 to the right side. Sorry, left side. Next, equating the denominator. Simplify it until you get a single fraction. After you get a single fraction form with 0 at the right side, find the roots. Then fill in the table. We will do a substitution process now. Negative 2 plus 7, positive 5. 2 minus 3, negative 1. Negative 4 plus 7, positive 3. 4 minus 3, positive 1. Negative 8 plus 7, negative 1. 8 minus 3, positive 5. Positive divided by negative, we will get negative number. Positive divided by positive, we will get positive number. Negative divided by positive, we will get negative number. To decide which one is your required interval, look at, at the last inequality sign. So the equation asks for greater than 0, so means that it is a positive interval. Then your final answer is... Open interval 3 to 7. Okay, I hope you can try for the rest of the question. See ya.